Now you might find when you open up uh, Balabolka that if you want to do a spell checking that that facility is not there. Um, now there's an option that you can actually uh, place in the spell checking facility. So now if we just go into options and spell checker you can see I'm getting a warning message saying that the program didn't find a dictionary of spell checking on this computer. So there's an easy solution to that and the way to do that is just to visit the Balabolka website. So here it is there, and I'll just highlight that. It's www.cross-plus-a-dot-com. And as I scroll down, there's some useful information that you might find here, additional from the tutorials that I've been making uh, about customising. There's even a magnifier on there, which is quite good. And there's also some links to where you can get some voices. So if you don't have any voices on your computer, there are some there that you can get, including some of the higher quality commercial voices. So the thing we want to find is the option for spell checking. And we have to, this is something we have to install onto your computer. So if we go to the English one, you can see lots of different languages. And I'm just going to save that to my hard drive. So save that and uh, save that down and install that. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to install that onto the um, Balboca and restart it. So that's me, I've installed it and I'm going to have restarted Balabolka with the same piece of text in. Now look at the difference now. So when I go down to options there, you can see spelling errors. It, it, so it's now identifying all the, spe the spelling errors that I have in there. So it doesn't recognize things like my study bar, access apps. Uh, and I can also show a list of those spelling errors as well. So it can bring up a list and then you can either add those to the dictionary so I'll just demonstrate uh, shortly. But a further feature of this, now that you ha we have this uh, dictionary or spelling option built in, is that uh, I can play that back. But difficult to hear just now, but my study bar is being pronounced moi, moi study bar, so it's a bit unusual. So I can highlight my study bar now, right click, and you can see I can add that word to the dictionary so I can um, make it so it doesn't underline anymore. But there's also this, this wonderful thing for pronunciation so I can improve the pronunciation of my study bar. So if I play that back, it now read it moi, moi study bar. And just in this case, just a case of spelling, just uh, putting the space bar on, spacing it out a bit. I play that now, it now says my study bar, nicely add that to the pronunciation correction list, save that, and now when I play that back, it will read it. So now we have spell checking, we have pronunciation editor, it's a very powerful uh, and, and useful package for learners who need the extra support.